Seasons, greetings to you all and a happy next year. Reet, when I was doing the original Render Wars announcement video and I was putting it together, I had this new show idea, these are the rules, etc, etc. Didn't have a prize decided and bought in there and then because the show could have been an absolute flop at that point. Uh, now that the show's been out for a couple of months, it's picked up a bit of pace. I've now got enough entrance to fill up an entire season. The prize has now been decided, but I can't edit that video and put it in there. So I have to do this video explaining the prize is this. It's the 3D Connection Space Navigator 3D Mouse. Spared no expense, apart from being entry level. <laughs> but it's it's bought by me, it's not sponsored. Uh, it's an unopened box, brand new sealed unit, ready to be given away to the winner of Render Wars Season 1. The way the show works is we're going to have nine episodes. The winner of episodes 1 through 9 will then be put together head-to-head -head into episode 10. And then the winner of episode 10 will receive this here and then also be the the grand render master winner of render war season one i'm not going to open this box and break the seal and ruin that delicious unboxing experience for the winner so this is roughly what 3d connection space navigator looks like to be fair chances are a lot of the people entering the competition will already have one but having two of these is never going to do you any harm you might have a home and an office that you move between so to have one in each location is not going to do you any harm so this uh, if you've never seen one is roughly the size of it fun fact it might not be a fact but i think it is all 3d connection space mice have the same cap and sensor in them from the very high end expensive enterprise device all the way down to the entry level they all have the same movement experience because they all share the same sensor it's the body and the buttons of the functionality that makes the difference between all the devices so the space navigator only has the two buttons one on either side but two buttons if you're thinking oh my logitech mx mouse has 50 buttons oh, i could do loads more than you yeah not quite yeah these buttons here can be directly mapped into the api of the application that you're using to depending on whether a 3D connection has done a driver for it. But for example, Autodesk Inventor, one button, if you're in sketch mode, can be draw a rectangle. This one here could be finish sketch. Or once you're up into part mode, this one could be create a revolve. This one could be create a 2D sketch. Assembly mode, freeform mode, simulation mode, rendering mode, 3D sketch mode. Every single context the application can be in, these buttons change and do something different and they map direct to an application button rather than just a keyboard shortcut. So that's the benefit of the 3D Mice. It's an amazing device. Everybody really should have one, so that's why I'm giving one away as part of Render Wars Season 1. I have mentioned the prize in a few videos uh, already and the description of the videos in the comments, and especially inside Render Wars Episodes 1 to 3 so far, but you might not have seen those, so I thought I'd have to do this video separate to announce what the prize is to link you to this so you can see what that is. So just before we wrap up this video, I just want to give out a couple of words just to sort of sign off the air, depending on when you're watching this. I don't know, but it's now, uh, you know, December 29th, I think. So we're almost at the end of the year. So I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who has joined the channel so far this year. And a big thank you to everybody who's supported the channel even longer than that. The channel's grown quite a lot over the last year. In fact, it's doubled in size in one year. We're nearly four years old. And in the last year, we've doubled in size. The channel's never going to go massive, you know, vlogger size channel. It's never going to be that. The, the target market that I'm aimed at just isn't that big. It's a very small number of people that are interested in what I do. So in terms of numbers, everything sort of shrunk down. But in terms of a percentage of the total target audience I can reach, I'm doing pretty well. I'm quite proud of how far the channel's got. So I'm going to keep on plugging on. Uh, and one final word as well regarding Render Wars. If you love Render Wars, if you like it and you want to see it grow, it was always going to be a slow burner. But what I'd really appreciate, if possible, is if anybody out there is part of any kind of online communities where people are interested in rendering and 3D CGI and that kind of thing, and you think Render Wars will be something that people you deal with and congregate with will be interested in, please spread the word. Word of mouth is the most it's the most important part of growing something like this and i can't do that myself i can't promote it in these areas i don't want to be that guy you know that guy that turns up in an online area with a brand new account with one post going hey come and check out my stuff over here that you've never heard of before and you don't know who i am because people just go who are you what get out get get lost man go on and then they contact the mods and then the spammer gets removed i don't want to be that guy so word of mouth is uh, is the most powerful thing for promoting something and if you want to see the show grow 
please help out with a bit of promotion. That would be most appreciated. So with that being said, that's it for TFI for the year of 2017. We're now going to be moving on to 2018. All content from this point onwards will be in 2018. Uh, it's more of the same, more of the same. We're not just an Inventor Tips and Tricks channel anymore. We haven't been for two years, although that is the backbone of the channel. I have to diversify and I have been doing that for two years. So we're going to carry on doing that into 2018. Thank you very much for all your support. And I'll see you next year. Toodles.